The first step in animating your entity is to create a style class that will store your entity picture. A style class is a generic representation of certain arena constructs such as a resource, an entity picture, or a global variable. To create a new entity picture style class, in the Project Explorer, right-click on the Style Classes folder and select Insert Entity Picture Style Class. The Style Class window is an editor that allows you to view and edit a style class for your entity picture. The style class specifies the graphic file or files associated with the different states of the entity assigned a given entity picture. You will notice the style class editor contains four unique view icons in the toolbar and from the view menu. These icons allow you to change the view of the 3D image in the editor. You can select the front, back, left, right, and top view to display. The style class front dictates the direction that the entity faces in the scene. This front side of the image will face forward along a route or in a queue. The reference point also dictates where an entity will reside in the scene, along a route path, or in a queue. Use the properties to rotate the object or offset the object from the reference point. There are several ways to assign a picture. In this example, we will use the thumbnails. If you do not have the thumbnails visible, go to the View menu, Tool Windows, and select Thumbnails. If you open the thumbnails and browse to a folder with 3D objects, you will be able to view the image before you drag and drop it to assign your entity picture. You can browse to an existing arena library or a folder where you have saved your own 3D objects. Simply drag and drop an image from the thumbnails into the style class. For more advanced entity animation, you can assign different images depending on the state of the entity. For example, you may want a person to appear as if they are walking along a route. Another image may be required when they are in a queue waiting for the resource. You may want to change the appearance when they are seized by a resource. To enable this, right-click on the image in the Editor Explorer and select Split to Substates. You can now choose a specific substate such as in transfer, in seize area, in storage, or in queue and assign a unique image. The Arena Visual Designer supports animated meshes in a .x format to allow for realistic entity animation by state. This means you can assign a specific animation sequence to each state. The original .x file was created in an external application where the movements and number of frames were determined. Use the properties to enable the animation sequence. When the animation property is set to true, several additional properties are exposed. You can use the style class slider to set the frame begin and frame end or set them directly in the properties. The entity animation will loop or run through the sequence from the frame begin to the frame end for the given state. The animation speed may need to be increased to ensure you see the movement of the entity when the simulation is running. If the animation property is not enabled, the first frame of the .x file will be used for the picture. You may want to rename your style class to provide a more meaningful identification in the Properties window. Once you have assigned your entity pictures, you can close out of the style class by selecting the X in the top right of the style class window. You can reopen your style class at any time by navigating to the Project Explorer and Style Classes folder. After the style class is defined, we need to assign the style class to our entity picture. Entity pictures in your project will be listed in the Editor Explorer under Animated Objects and Entity Pictures. Drag and drop your entity picture into the scene. With the entity picture selected in the scene, use the properties to assign the entity picture to the style class you just created. You can also use the properties to preview your image in each state. This may be useful if you want to review the animation sequence 
defined for different states. You now know how to assign 3D images to your ARENA entities.